All right, today I'm going to show you how to use the LCD King meter, normally used on the size of M900 or a bunch of other models. I'll put the uh, King meter model in the description below so you can use it. So, you gotta press the up and down arrow at the same time and hold it down until you change the screen. Uh, if it doesn't go, it's because you clicked them at different times. Let's see if this works. Yep. Now enter your password in, so use the arrow keys. There'll be a standard code for every single model, but... Uh, see if we can get to it. And then it's just a mode button to get through, to enter it in. And that's the wrong code. Round two, apparently. Okay, now when you get to that, click the button again. Now you've got display settings and advanced settings. And you'll use mode to enter. Is it there? So we're gonna go to display settings first. So display setting here, you click it in once to go check it out. Uh, the bike's gonna standard standard with a 29 inch. It's just to include the fat tires. You can change it to 26, but technically with the fat tires, it's more of a 29. And then you can go over here to your battery display mode if you want percentage or volume of battery life left. I just leave it a percentage. Over here, that's the auto off sensing. That just turns the screen off if you have like the bike stationary and you just forget to turn it off. I'm just going to leave it at five minutes for now. And then over to the display change unit, you can just go from kilometers to miles. And always just using the mode button to back out. So, once you've got the backlight setting, you can check that out too. I usually just keep it on too, cause, but you can have it quite bright. And then max speed is the important one, which everyone's probably going to want to use. So out of the factory, most places will lock it at 25 or 32 kilometers an hour. So you're not going to do that, you're going to want to be cool. So you can up it to 50, but you can go to max limit, which it'll still give you power after 50k, but I'm good. <laughs> And so once you get to that screen, you're going to want to be like, well, I want to get out of here. So you'll hold the power button down and it goes back one. So don't hold it down too long because it'll bring you back to the front. So we'll go over to advanced settings. This is more for probably seasoned uh, electric bike mechanics. But if you get into it, you can really modify the bike or do whatever you want. So this is the pedal range assistant assistance modes so you can do 0 to 5 0 to 3 and 0 to 9 if you're feeling all eager but I just left it as standard for 0 to 5 and then we're gonna go over to magnetic speed magnetic sensor and so we're gonna leave this uh, we're not gonna touch this this has all been set up by their factory and it's just I don't want to touch that and then zero setting, that's just uh, setting your bike so you can do a zero start on it. So you'll get power at the zero, but you also have throttle. And then the power sensitivity, I left that at three. You can turn it up higher if you just want full torque right away. And then same thing with uh, start strength. I have mine at four for starting off. And then for the PS magnet, don't touch that. Just leave it at what it is. This is what the... How many magnets are inside of here? So you can get your, your speed and it going up. So just don't touch that unless you're planning to change it. Same thing with the current limit setting. It's set to 22. Don't change that unless you're changing the controller, doing something fancy. But like the fact that you can change that means that you could really make this thing go super, super fast, even though it's already fast. Factory reset, don't even touch that. Uh, speed duty setting, I don't really know much about it other than uh, it's supposed to adjust a bunch of other things in the electrical system, so I would not touch that. And then driver mode, that's just uh, two is with like throttle and start off, and then one is just with uh, no throttle but pedal assistance, so I just left both on because I don't need to mess with that. But that's a brief run through over it all, and you've seen what I've set mine to. Now you want to get out finally, just hold the power button down, or the mode button down, hold it once, and hold it again, and then you're back at her, and you've got all your settings and everything, and there you go.